Hello readers, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reading chapter 15 of Racing Bees. I hope you like it. Racing Bees. It's Saturday afternoon and I'm bored. Ray is leaving to race bikes with his friends in Alberta Park. I beg to go. Mom, please can I go with Ray? Ray says, I don't want to babysit. First of all, I am not a baby, and also I can invite Kiki, and that way you don't even have to play with me. Mom likes this idea. If Kiki is going, you can go too, Ryan. Ray, look out for your sister. Ray hands me my helmet and says, make sure you keep up with me. Like I need him to tell me that. Then he says, and put your helmet on. Even though I'm going to put it on right after I double check my shoelaces, I want to make sure they are tied so they don't get tangled in the chain while I'm riding. Hurry up, Ray says. Logan and Aiden are already there waiting for me. We ride to Alberta Park. Ray is in front and me right behind him. Around a corner from my house is an apartment building with the most beautiful tree in front of it. When Ray and I ride our bikes past the tree, I slow down just a bit so the branches that are hanging low and stretching down to the ground can hug me. The wind touches my face, gentle and soft, like mom's hands rubbing my back when I'm sick. Keep up, Ray shouts. We keep riding as we approach the end of the block. Ray says, start slowing down. I was already slowing down. I can see that we're at the end of the sidewalk, but I know Ray's just doing what mom and dad told him to do, protecting me. We are the last ones to get to the park. Kiki is sitting under a tree listening to music and reading. She doesn't have a bike. She says it's because she doesn't like to ride, but I know it's because she never learned how to ride a bike without training wheels. When we get to the park, Logan and Aiden are racing each other up and down the steep hill. Logan tags the tree at the top and does a somersault to show off that he won. Aiden picks up his bike from the ground and says, That doesn't even count. We came here to ride bikes. Bet you can't beat me riding up that hill. And now, the official competition has started. Ray says, Aiden and Logan round one. I'll race the winner. And then I say, and I'll race the winner of round two. You're supposed to be hanging out with Kiki, Ray reminds me. I am. I'm hanging out with Kiki until I race whoever wins round two. Logan and Aiden get on their bikes and Ray counts them off. Aiden is a much faster bike rider than he is a runner. Logan is far behind. It doesn't even seem like a race. When it's Ray's turn, I already know he is going to win. One reason is because he is really fast. Another is because Aiden is really tired now. Ray wins. My turn, my turn, I shout. I get on my bike and ride to the bottom of the hill. Ray looks at me. I'm not going to go easy on you, he says. Good. I tighten my helmet. Kiki shouts, on your mark, get set, go! I pedal as fast as I can. The first part of the hill is hard because it's so steep. Ray is right behind, behind me. We keep up with each other the whole way, but then the hill straightens and I don't even have to pedal as hard. I go even faster and I'm ahead of Ray. Not by much, but I'm ahead. I shout to him, don't let me win on purpose. I'm not, I'm tired. I just raced Aiden. I believe him and I make myself go faster and faster. Here I am at the top of the hill. I won. Ray's just one second behind me, but still, I won. And I didn't even fall. I don't even gloat. I just bend and put my hands on my knees and try to catch my breath. Good race, Ray says. No enthusiasm in his voice, but at least he acknowledges that I beat him. I take off my helmet and toss it. I'm sweating and out of breath, and I don't even realize how hard I threw my helmet until Kiki says, Your helmet got stuck in that bush. I walk over to see my purple and yellow helmet stuck in the middle of the bush. I reach in the middle and try to shake it loose. That's when I realize this isn't an ordinary bush. This is a bush that has a beehive in it, and I just shook the hive. The bees start swarming all over my arm, my head. I scream and swat up the bees. Be still, Ray says. Be still. He runs over to me. Not moving is impossible. I'm not going to stand here and get stung by a million bees. Some are hovering around me like a ha halo, and even more are buzzing around my ears. I'm crying now. Kiki is using her book to swat at them, but it's not helping. Ray just keeps yelling, Be still! Be still! But I can't. So I take off 
running. First in a circle, but then I decide to run home. I want mom. I am sure the bees are chasing me, like they are playing a game of tag. I try to outrun them, crying and screaming the whole way home. When I get to my house, I bang on the door and ring the doorbell over and over until mom is standing in front of me with panic in her eyes. Ryan, honey, what's wrong? What happened? I'm crying too hard and I'm too out of breath to talk. So Kiki says it's all. And this is the moment I realize Kiki ran behind me, that she has my bike and helmet. Ray, Logan, and Aiden are here too. Everyone is sweating and breathing hard. Mom checks my body, looks through my twists, shakes at my shirt. You're okay, you're okay, they're gone, they're gone. It's a wonder you don't have stings all over you. Slowly, my breath calms and steadies. I can feel my heart relaxing in my chest, going back to its normal rhythm. I'm okay, I'm okay. And out of nowhere, we all start laughing. Me, the hardest. Today, I not only beat my brother in a bike race... I outran a team of bees. That is the end of, end of today's chapter. Please subscribe if you already haven't. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you can be alerted whenever I post a new video. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone.